Hello everyone, it's Matt M and today is a very special day because it's Father's Day! I don't know why I did that. Happy Father's Day to every dad who's watching this video and... I didn't get that. Could oh no. you try again? Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, especially mine. Insert picture right here. Don't we look super sweet? Right? No? I think so. Anyways, he is my number one subscriber. He watches all of my videos. He likes them too. And he actually watches those comments down there. Sometimes he comments on my videos. Sometimes he doesn't. But he watches your comments there. So don't give hate comments because he is watching. He gets mad. He will bring fire to you. <laughs> he will read you to filth. <laughs> That was my sister laughing in the background and if you don't know yet, you have to apply first, you have to do this step, and then you can send your requirements to CDPH LFS, specifically your transcript and your verification of training. To know more about the requirements, I will put the link up above. So snail mail, your requirements, and then the rest, like this application, can be done online. So yeah, let's get started. Hello everyone, it's Matt M, voiceover edition. So the first thing you have to do is to open up your browser and then go to www.cdph.ca.gov. If this is your first time seeing the website, then welcome to the CDPH homepage. Hover on the I am looking for tab and then under licensing, certification, and other credentials, click certificates, licenses, permit, and registrations. Scroll through the page and click the clinical laboratory professionals hyperlink. On this page, under clinical laboratory personnel, click apply. If you haven't made an account yet, hit the create an online account button. Fill up all the information required and then hit submit once you are done making an account go back to this page and then click the login to your account button you will be directed to this page to log in and once you have logged in select the laboratory personnel read through the privacy disclaimer afterwards tick the i have read and accepted the above terms box then hit proceed. Under need a license slash certificate, click the apply now button. Double check the information on your application and then hit next. Select your category and if you're the same as me, choose scientist and then hit next. Now it's a time for you to select your license or certificate type. Again, if you're in the same case as me, hit the clinical laboratory scientist generalist and then hit next. To add the information about your education, hit the Add New Education button, fill up the necessary information. I would like to emphasize that you should double check the data on your transcript such as the start and end dates of your schooling because the last thing you want is mismatched information. To add new information regarding your training, hit the Add New Training Details, double check the information on your verification of training certificate provided by your school or hospital because again, we don't want mismatch information. The same goes for your work experience and certification details. In this certification information, this could either be from ASCP, AMT, or AAB. After completing the information required, hit the next button. Now, it's time for you to upload your document. As you can see, the certifying organization document is required. Since I am me, I uploaded as much documents I can give because I don't want to finish this application knowing that I still have some incomplete documents that needed to be sent. So I gave everything they asked for, even if it's optional. After you uploaded everything, hit the next button. On this page, you will see the requirements which I explained fully on my previous video. I will add a card regarding the requirements above. I won't focus on the other requirements that much. But for international graduates like me, I will show you how my international transcript was evaluated. So I went through the NASA's website and chose IES Carry. I didn't choose this organization because I'm biased towards it, but because this was the organization that my peers chose. So I chose it as well. During the time I applied for the California CLS license, they required a comprehensive evaluation report of my transcript. So for this process, you have to send IES Carry a filled up application form, which will be on their website, two copies of your stamped and sealed 
transcript of records from your school. If your transcript of records is not in English, then you should also send them two copies of your transcript translated in English. You should also send them a filled up fee schedule which will be on their website as well and the appropriate fee for your evaluation report. All documents should be mailed to this address, the one flashed on your screen. This evaluation report costs about $200. You can pay the evaluation report through check, credit card, or PayPal. Okay, now back to the application. Hit the next button once you are done reading through the page. If you haven't taken the California quiz yet, then you will have to take that first. You will receive an email which looks something like this. Click on the link and then take the 10 item quiz. But if you did take it already, then you will be shown this message that you can see on your screen. Hit next. At this page, you can see the requirements that needs following up. These are documents that you haven't sent yet or documents that you did send but CDPH LFS hasn't received yet. So hit next and then on this page, sign the attestation. After signing, hit the submit button. After finishing the application, you will be directed to your card. Now, it's time to pay for your application. Hit the proceed to checkout button. Now, it's time for you to select the payment method. You can pay via credit card or your bank account. Enter your information and then hit submit. You will be shown the receipt of your purchase. Once you hit close, you will be directed to your account homepage and then you will see that your application is now pending. Once CDPH LFS has received all your documents via snail mail and read your online application, expect your license card in your email. Congratulations! You reached the end of this tutorial and if you would like to see more of this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel, give this video some love by giving it a thumbs up, and comment down below for future video ideas. I will see you all next week. Don't forget to wash your hands everybody. Bye!